win, lose, or draw in this election, will you commit here today for a peaceful transferal of power after the election? And there has been rioting in Louisville. There's been rioting in many cities across this country, red and your so-called red and blue states. Will you commit to making sure that there is a peaceful transferal of power after the election? Well, we're going to have to see what happens. You know that I've been complaining very strongly about the ballots, and the ballots are a disaster. I and, understand that, but and, people are rioting. Do you commit uh, to making know, sure that there's a no, peaceful wanna, transferal of power? We want to have get rid of the ballots, and you'll have a very trans. We'll have a very peaceful. There won't be a transfer, frankly. There'll be a continuation. Uh, the ballots are out of control. You know it. And you know who knows it better than anybody else? The Democrats know it better than anybody else. Go ahead. Mr. President, the second question is, will you Please go ahead. Welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of September 25th, 2020. As you notice at the very beginning of the video, I put two, two different videos in there of what Donald Trump is going to do when he, if he loses, as well as him getting booed off at uh, Supreme Court Justice uh, Ginsburg's funeral procession. And that he's just one of the topics we're going to talk about today. We have two topics to talk about. We have first topic being Nancy Pelosi and then the second topic is of course yes President Donald Trump and yesterday Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi both hinted at stimulus negotiations resuming sometime soon and later in the day Pelosi met with Democrat House leaders after which she did she directed the committee to start to prepare for a second their Democratic version of the stimulus package to be voted on next week. The it serves that this new bill could be a talking point when stimulus talks resume. So basically, the whole stimulus package thing is still up in the air. No one's really wanting to talk about each other because as we noticed uh, Mitch McConnell won't even make his hit, make his presence known when it comes to Nancy Pelosi because he doesn't like her that much Donald Trump won't talk to her because he doesn't like her that much either and I'm sure the the feelings are mutual between for Nancy Pelosi when it comes to Donald Trump as well the com uh, committee chairman Richard Neal said I, that he thinks that the contours are already there and that is now time all they have to worry about now is the timeline of how long it'll take them to get it ready and get it sent out for any stimulus packages that get passed that might include direct payments to the people because that's very important. Pelosi estimates the new bill to be at about $2.4 trillion. And she says she's been, she has basically been, how do I put this, not really humoring the Republicans, but she's been scaling back because she took her 3.4 trillion dollar bill down to 2.4 trillion dollars and the current bill on the table which is the march to common ground act is worth 1.5 trillion dollars and house majority leader kevin mccarthy republican said plosey again isn't serious about getting covered relief bill getting a cover relief bill signed and passed to help the people out and that is she's just playing politics now let's talk about our good old President Donald Trump. He said that his administration will send out $33 million, 33 million Americans on Medicare, basically Medicare, benefi Medicare beneficiaries, sorry about that, a $200 discount card 
to help defer the cost of prescription d drugs. So basically, he wants to bribe the seniors to vote for him. Is what I'm taking from this. And then also, Mark Meadows went on to say that the discount cards are actually coming from Big Pharma. So now we got a conflicting story. Are the, the prescription cards coming directly from Big Pharma, or are they going to have President Trump's face on them? Well, if they have President Tr Trump's face on them, I'd still use them and then throw the card away later because you don't need his face in your wallet. <laughs> In Pelosi's uh, scaled, basically, in Pelosi's scaled back version of the stimulus check, stimulus package, the two point four trillion dollars stimulus package she's talking about, and she's talking that there will be a second stimulus check. And there will be more pay, 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 blah, 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 pay tech protection money. Sorry about that. As well as there will be more enhanced unemployment benefits. There will be a bailout for the airlines. There will be money for restaurants and farms. There will be more money for food assistance as well as other programs to assist Americans in this hard time. And also Pelosi is dropping the threat of impeaching Donald Trump. Her exact words were, I don't think he's worth it at this, worth the trouble at this present point. Well... If he is he ever worth the trouble of impeaching at this present point? Because as you found out from the last time, which surprisingly I gotta admit it, the last time that she brought up impeachment for Donald Trump was exactly one year ago today. So I mean, is she trying to go for like a, a two strike record? Because that's what happened the first time she struck out with it because the Republicans would not see or read any of the evidence that the Democrats had against him, so they played hardball with her. And they won. And the new government funding bill was passed on Tuesday, as we all know. And now it goes on to the Senate to be voted on by them. And they said they won't, they'll vote on that no later than Wednesday morning. For one simple reason. Because any fail, if they fail to vote on this and pass this bill by midnight on Wednesday, there will be a government shutdown. Guaranteed. And the elections are 39 days away, and the, the polls show Biden to be ahead by 5%. And basically, on, on COVID information out there, COVID-19 ba is back on the rise again, according to John Hopkins University. And also, Europe and Canada are now, well, of course, we know about Europe, but now Canada is, experience, is experiencing its second wave of COVID-19 as well. And since Canada is part of North America, if you think about it, because it's just like right above us, um, their second wave is going to give us our second wave. And it's not going to be pretty. I'll put money on that because they already, they already estimated about 400,000 plus lives we lost by the end of this year due to COVID-19 related fatalities. I hope they are wrong. I mean, we have already reached over 200,000 fatalities. So hopefully the fatalities will slow down or at least stop until we can come up with a good handle on this COVID-19 and get all this get assistance and help out to all the people who need it that aren't filthy rich. Because rich people don't ever need your help because they have their own money and they don't care. Donald Trump is quite proof of this. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the two clips I put at the very beginning of this video. And if all that I request from you guys in exchange is if you can, please give me a like, a subscribe, and comment all you want. And I will get right back and I'll comment right back with you guys. So until then, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Friday and an excellent night. Please stay safe out there. And remember, we're all in this together. You guys have a wonderful Friday.